What's up, fam? Taurus here, TaurusBeach.com. And I'm going to walk you through the, uh, the second part of what I described in my previous video, uh, dealing with the, the two controllers, two USB MIDI controllers. One's the Akaya PD32. The other one's the M-Audio Oxygen 25. And I'm using both of these control surfaces, both of these control devices, in Reason. I'm actually on Reason 5. Um, I do have the record Reason package. But this is Reason 5, and I want to make sure that I explain that number one, the Akai MPD32, um, you need to have Reason 4.01 and above in order for the Akai MPD32 to show up in your list of preferences for your um, control surfaces. So make sure you have Reason 4.01 and above. Um, I've seen people try to get uh, Reason 3 to work with the Akai MPD. Um, some people have had luck, some people haven't. Get Reason 4.01 and you'll be fine. What I'm going to talk about right now, though, is actually the uh, locking of a device. I can lock one of these devices. Let me make sure I explain this to you correctly. I can lock one of my control surfaces, either the Akai MPD32 or the Oxygen 25, to a specific device in Reason. Now, what? why would I want to do that? Because sometimes if you're playing live, you might just want your Akai MPD just to control like maybe the core, you know, the drum machine, and that's it. So I'm just going to set it up for you right now, walk you through. Now the first thing that we're going to do, I got this track running here. I'm going to mute out some things. So let's go ahead and just go with the samples. Okay. Okay, I got two samplers. I have one. This is, I want to make sure you see it. I have the Akai. Well, basically, it's set up right now to where both of my control surfaces will control whatever device I select. Okay, follow me. Whatever device I select, just like this, when I take my mouse and I click on a device in, in the sequencer, I'm selecting that device. In this case, it's the NNXT label Sampler 01. If I go back to my sequencer and I select Sampler 02 in my sequencer, it selects the Sampler 02 NNXT. And I have, even though it looks like it, it's the same, I have two different sets of samples, if you will, in both of those devices. Now, let me get to it. Now, what you're hearing right now is you're already hearing the chops that I've already made. So I'm going to stop that right now, and I'm going to go to sampler 01, and I'm going to show you how to lock the MPD to this in an XT, okay? So right now, with I'm not I, neither one of them is locked. So that means any one of them that I choose, since this was selected, both the Oxygen 25 and the MPD, both of them are actually triggering that same device. Whatever device I select, both of them will both the, both of my controllers will control that one device. Now, what I want is Sampler 01 to be controlled by the Akai MPD32 only. So what I'm gonna do is I'm simply gonna select it. I can right click on it. Let me do it so where you can see it. I'm gonna right click on it, right here in the sequencer, right click on it. And if you look down at the bottom down here, it says lock Akai MPD32 to this device. Click on that and the device is locked. Now watch what happens. Now that the Akai MPD is locked to that, even if I select Sampler 02, the Akai MPD is only going to play Sampler 01. Watch. So I'm on Sampler 02. Now watch this. I'm going to use the MPD. Notice, nothing changes here. This is Sampler 02. I want you to pay attention to that. Nothing's firing off because I'm not controlling that device. I'm controlling the other sampler. I'm controlling sampler 01. Notice here. Because it's locked to that device. So that's, just, that's it. That's, that's simply put, that's the way you do it. If you want to lock a device, you just right click. You can right click from the sequencer. And you can tell it to lock it to whatever controller that you have. In my case, is the MPD. If you want to unlock it, just take the checkbox off 
And now it will go back to the way it was at the beginning. Whatever device I select, that's the device that I will be triggering. That's sampler 01, sampler 02. I just unlocked it. And there you have it. So that's it. Short and sweet. Um, just kind of walking you through. That's that's real simple thing that you can do uh, if you want to lock a device. And like I said, that's used often for live performances. But it's also pretty handy if you just want to lock your um, MPD or your drum machine, uh, your drum controller to a drum machine in Reason. So I hope that helped you out. Uh, as always, leave me a message. Uh, comment right here on the video. Please subscribe. Uh, Y'all know how to reach me. But as always, grace and peace. Y'all take care until next time. Taurus James, TaurusBeats.com.